It is a king size cup of coffee morning. I read uh, a couple of things that have uh, in the last week that have sort of just just sort of um, made me go, yeah, mm -hmm, that's right. And one of the ones, and I'm sure everybody has heard this this uh, quote before, um, is that we we don't stop playing because we got old. We get old because we stop playing. And I love, 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 love that quote. <clears throat> I have uh, always been somebody who has been quite playful. I can be silly. <coughs> Pardon me. I can be very silly. I love to play. And I went through a little bit of a phase in my life where I thought, hmm, maybe it's time to not be so silly. Maybe you need to grow up, right? Um, and then I thought, nah. <laughs> um, so I didn't. Well, I have grown up. But I, I just, I, I love that quote because I think it is so true. And two of the people who inspire me most in my life are, are my mom and my dad. And when I look at the life that they've lived and the circle of friends that they've had over their life, throughout their life, and even as they got older, mom, mom of course has passed now, but when, when she was living, they had a variety of age groups gathered around them. From people who were their age, right down to like my nephew and his friends, loving to go to moms and dads and hang out with them for a few hours. So when when do twenty year olds like to hang out with seventy and eighty year olds that often? And and when I think about that and analyze that, I I came to the conclusion that it really and truly was because both mom and dad remained or remain young at heart they played they played a lot <clears throat> now, I'm not saying playing as in the traditional sense sliding down a slide but mom didn't have a problem with being silly getting up in the living room with the triplets when they were little and dancing around the living room right um And just laughing and having fun and being silly like that, that was okay. And it's still okay. My dad is 85 years old and he is still one of the youngest at heart people that I know. He looks for the good in people and the humor in life. And he can always bring a smile to somebody's face. And when I talk to people about my parents it, it's very funny, like they, they will, they always, 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 you know, when you mention something, they a, a smile will come to their face. And uh, so I just really want to use that as um, my go forward today. And part of that is just because there's been a lot going on and I've had like back to 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 back meetings. <laughs> And sometimes when that happens, it becomes difficult to think about um, playing. Um, but I think it's so important to, to retain some of that um, youthful excitement and exuberance and silliness. And who says we can't be silly and have fun, um, even in the midst of, of being serious, right? Like being silly or, or um, playing a little does not mean that you haven't grown up, that you're not taking your life or your job or whatever seriously. It's just taking a moment to take a moment. And we all deserve that. Anyways, I just wanted to share that with you today. That's what I'm going to go forward green lighting my day because this next few weeks it will continue to be very busy. And um, I am planning on purposely taking some time to play. So, I hope that you take care of yourself and each other. Go out and play and make a great day. <laughs>